Maybe he lived. Maybe he lived somehow. You son of a bitch! I told you to... Oh. 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 <laughs> he's... Bad dude. Bad dude. Make a sacrifice to us. Who the a fuck is that? Oh. Us. I, I mean... Me! <laughs> Not yet. I want to deal with them. Uh, we also want a mega goal. A mega goal. <sighs> okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with the doors and windows locked. Time to go on the journey that is. Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Peggy, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling <laughs> man character? They think it's <laughs> funny. It's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Oh, All I forgot right. we were on air. You're Let's right. You're right. You're so right. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Sharp, and I need the cops now. All right, Sandra. The cops aren't I'm coming. Sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like I mean, yeah, we're off air. After me, knife in hand. Oh, God, it's actually happening. Where are you at now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I just ran all oh. the way to my car and nothing flat. <laughs> but I dropped my keys somewhere I'll play along the way. I never locked the door. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Can you go back and find your keys? Sounds like you lost him. I think you'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? I don't think you lost them. You definitely didn't lose them. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby oh i'm not going back out there i you better fucking run lady oh, oh shoot oh, he's back oh. look i don't know a thing about cars oh no but i gotta start this engine without the keys and you're gonna have to help me wait wait, wait i don't Listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host. Oh no. Mechanic and Savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with The Glam Jam.
Yeah, she and the chase Doesn't for her life. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? That's they're rough. the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really Dabble. sweaty and defensive. Anyway, oh, go see what you word. can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Wait, me? I didn't have a chair this whole time? I've been standing up? Well, maybe I'm just short. Hold on, I'm about to dunk this hole. Hiya! Hiya! Damn, I missed. Never mind. That's embarrassing. We're not on air no more. Um, I swear I heard some footsteps out here. Maybe it was my footstep. I got a cat to protect me though, so I think we'll be all right. Oh, that is beyond embarrassing. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it. That's why I walked out. That's why I walked out. Oh, that's cool, y'all. That's cool. Oh, I'm supposed to play the music when I'm not on? I thought that meant they couldn't hear me then. Oh, damn. My fault. My fault. Hold up. Wait. But we can turn it down, though. There we go. That way they still jamming out. Nice. All right. Probably close the door because quiet on set, bitch. Quiet on set. You scary little I'm not getting in there tonight. Peggy, scary as hell. You got me doing all this by myself. All I got is a, a can to protect me. I got a can to protect me. That's it. Damn, why this door open? Like that? What was our goal again? What were we supposed to be doing? I don't remember what what was we why would we come out here for? I feel like I gotta hide in these stalls and stuff. Scream. How about you? Let me make that ass jiggle. So many locked doors, so few keys. Ghost pop. Scream and jiggle. What is that? The creepy hour? Bro. I can't hide. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Bro, I'm dead. I'm dead. Dead. I'm dead. Literally. On air means you're talking and they and they hear you talking. They can't hear you, but they hear the music. Oh. That's what it means. Okay. I was confused for a second. It's okay, Nightbot. I feel you. What the fuck was that? Peggy? Um, I did a patrol on the building. And there doesn't seem to be anybody here. I think we're good. So coming back, Peg. I think we're good, Peggy. I don't know what you want me to do exactly. What did you want me to do? Find something that will help Sandra start her car. Will help start her car without the keys. You want me to find something? That was my goal? To find something? You should have been told me that. Hmm. Something to start her keys with. I mean, let's be for real. There's not much you can start your keys, your car with. You got a rat? That's not opening. We have a rat problem? Probably gonna have a roach problem. Maybe that was the door doing that? This looks useful. Got a magazine from the toilet. That was apparently useful. I mean, hey. 
Anything else around here? I need here? a key to get in there. We don't need a key. So Peggy probably give us that key then. All right. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Please. Place items in the tray. I'm hoping that's the bathroom doing that. Place items in the tray. Okay. Oh, she's on three. You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that's <laughs> perfect. Time to turn the music off. You won't even let me stir it. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? Hey, Sandra, how you doing? I'm not trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? All right. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Can I actually read this, though? What could you be driving? Get the best skills. Lock yourself out again. I can't even read this for real, though. Do you want me to use my own knowledge? Hit the steering wheel with the hammer. Unscrew the steering column. Don't do that. Do not do that. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... I... Oh. Screwdriver's too fat to fit. Is that even a screwdriver? Next? Oh, wow. All right. Unscrew well, the steering column. Unscrew the steering column, then. Learn how to hotwire a car today. How long are these screws? Okay, covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here, all paired up, and oh, <laughs> good, my heart is pumping. Hold up, can I actually read this? I feel like there's probably a way to actually read this book. I put it close to my face. E. Maybe there's not. Yeah. Oh shit, there is. Okay. Use a key if that fails with the steering column. Take the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Okay. You see all that? All right. There is a four. Oh, wow. She says she sees the wires. Okay, okay, okay. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Five, 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 what did you say? If there's a 504, a 3, and a 7, and the number 7 in the number, red and blue. If there's a 6 anywhere and doesn't start with a 5, 576 Eight, nine, four, okay. There's a four before a three. Four, three, okay. Red and blue. Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. Okay, here we go. Blue and red and twist and turn and... Oh, I read the wrong ones. Cut the right wire. Oh my God! Who is coming here for me?
Nazi broke his freaking neck! Well, uh, let's just hope she is jazz flying up to heaven. Forrest! Sorry, couldn't help myself. <sighs> Folks, Gallows Creek just lost one of its own. Everyone, please stay home. <sighs> stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned. This next track is dedicated to Sandra. Taken too soon. A record forest enjoy this classic by smooth it's their hit song the word you killed the nice this lady is this is happening <sighs> right my gallows the entire quest before s3 what do you mean it be the gallows girl. creek is a miserable place to live really miserable <laughs> It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago, or hell, it's not really anywhere. It's not. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... What? Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. No. You don't know stink after a while. After a while, you don't even notice the smell? Hello, motherfucker! I guess that's nice. Smell? Oh, Chelsea, no, no. welcome in, no welcome smell. in. That was everything. You, you've lived here your whole life, Peggy. Oh, we're gonna definitely grab that. Anyway, <laughs> I hope the killer is done for the, for the night. Show. And that Leslie gets back soon. We done Me murdered too. that poor lady. Can we at least call off now that strip the purple wire? Guess the scream contest now. I just went on yeah, with this. Yeah, that'd probably be um, a good idea. Wow. 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 Caller on line one. All right. Caller on line one. Hello. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. It's Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. The Scream. My name is Brian. <laughs> Tessa, Brian I hope you've been Ponte. well. You've been hydrated. Brian yeah, like that stuff. I hope you've been amazing. Oh, hope you've been great. Pizza. We in killer frequency right now and. I've been. Hello, Brian Ponty. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I didn't so do anything. I may have may have gave her the wrong command or wrong thing I've to do. Lot over the I guess we can eat that. Now. At Pizza, oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you. That I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Ooh, Even send me that. I love me some pizza. pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. <laughs> really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you. The pizza we have is to die for. Oh. Oh, don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I oh. just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down oh. to Pondy's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Man, I want me some free Wait pizza. Wait a minute. What's up with this? Come on down to Pondy's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're he just, just calling the advertiser, advertiser shop. shop. Yep. Well, forget, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. You should have oh, been known that. I could have been told you just trying to advertise his shop. Paid ad. I could have been told you that. a word that. from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? No. Nope. In flight check time. Christ, 
Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. I figured that was it. I already have one in there. We'll close it. I thought I had one in there. The cassette player is on the desk in front of you. Just above the sound blaster. Lady, I'm putting it in there. There should be a cassette there. in the dock nearby. Yeah, I already have one in there. I swear I have one in there. Done. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. Why are you so loud? We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller, Rickies, So I don't know if earlier I could have walked around, but now I can walk Brain. around. There's we got baby more. crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys hey, and ponies, apple bob. I like their hair. You got that flowy salon cakes, hair. Okay. Let me get your shit done all the time. I'm fucking with us, Theo Curl. And fake tattoo, face painting, puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance, and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and New York, selling circles, pie and lawnmower racing, hot dog eating Twilight. contest, flower oh. contest, and of course our famous Twilight Tour. Do we have that? The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated Dab to the memory of Garrett Miley. That sounds like tragically this. taken from us last festival. My finis. Oh, it is. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. When you're ready, shut the music off. Welcome already did. to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This Les is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. This ain't Leslie. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie left me in charge. I am 911. I am 911. Uh, at least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Why are you asking are you all these damn to questions? Do an for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Yeet. We're live on the air. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going I on than I that? know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Three! It, dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. And now he's back. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. You better get your skull whacked, Maurice. You better take this serious. Thirty years ago. This man better take this serious, Blake. I know Blake. for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews, where are you now? I'm in the boardroom, upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. Okay. Watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Think you might be up for fighting the whistling man? Son, I am 55 years old. I don't care how old you are. If this freak killed Sheriff Matthews, <laughs> I don't like my chances. 
Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. All right, window it is. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. You better hide. We need to do something. And quick. But what? All we can do from here is. Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't about we get, call He about to get killer. butchered. They'd have a bunch of phones set up across butchered, the AJ. office, right? In different rooms with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And get, get an, an exclusive, exclusive interview with the killer. killer. That could be interesting. No, I mean we just make a distraction. Oh. It's worth a shot. Yeah, we can do that I too. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Oh, my Sorry, fault, Maurice. my fault. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize what is this game, y'all? That plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Comedy horror. It was a comedy horror, right? <laughs> oh, I've been laughing too much. You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? I mean, Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. All right. Wait, oh, wait, we gotta do the air. How does that he know our fast. fax machine number? How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. All right. Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. I mean, I already knew where it was at, but thank you. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. <laughs> a little murder frog. Machine. Evil little Easy. murder frog. This must be it. All right. Editor. Archives. Ex Um, office space, boardroom, back office, cubicles, kitchen. This is the shittiest map ever. So he blocked the stairs right here. Oh, I can't even do it. Secret. I don't even know what room he's at. I'm guessing he's in the office. Hmm. All right. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you are. Froggy uh, means business. Still with us? Froggy don't I be am. playing. Froggy don't be playing. Get my facts. Yeah, we did get your facts, but hold up. <laughs> a little cute ass frog. Yeah, a little evil ass frog, too. I'm already knowing him. Stabby stab. Yeah, I got. Nah, don't send me. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, Cute, we're deadly. back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again. Yeah. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? So, did he go to the boardroom? He said, okay, y'all, let's think about this. Did he say the last room he went to was a boardroom or was he making his way to the bedroom or the boardroom? I'm guessing these are the people right here in the office space okay exit exit call the archives the extension is 01 got it 
I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Those are bath. Oh, those are bathrooms. Oh, I don't know why I thought those were bathrooms. <laughs> we go to the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. The kitchen? That's just across from the archives. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? Make it quick and snappy. Make I'm quick sure. And snappy. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Better make make quiet, call. Snappy. Yes, sir. Calling now. Then get the whistle man to the boardroom and he's going to run through the stairs. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to and the And he's archives. just whistling towards there. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV. Oh, wow. So we won't see Actually, it was Nymph's plan. Camera. Then, making my move. I'll call when I get there. Okay. She goes to the kitchen. Do you think he'll make then it okay? He into the board sure he'll he be fine. Okay. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice What if the whistling man is just listening cabins? in on the radio? We gotta think of something he just has his earbuds in. He's just, Maybe I can hear you, could... idiot. Oh, calling coming. You ready? Sure. Yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? By the skin of my teeth, I am. He came out of the archives almost as soon as he entered. I was thinking, like, could have been listening to the. That's what I'm saying. Before. The killer already searched the archives. He probably didn't have to look around much. Did he see you? Are, are you safe for now? Like, at that he point, it would be wraps. No. Where would you go then? The security cameras to see where he went. Looks like he's heading to the cubicles we have enough intern desks to keep him busy for a little while i'm not out of the woods yet though uh right let's review where we are so the only way out is by the stairs which the whistling man has blocked with furniture exactly uh, call the editors the furniture out all right better than the bed not quickly or quietly maybe you play dead can you lock him in a room what if you played dead? Maybe the killer would walk off and you could get out after him. Nash, he knows I'm not dead. That's the whole reason he's here. To kill me. Could you lock him in a room? <laughs> That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. I completely forgot. I completely See, forgot. I thought he was there for another reason. From the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... <laughs> wait, wait. Who oh, knows? Shoot. Committed suicide midway in the building. Keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a <laughs> secret archive? Reggie would love oh, that. Oh, do they? Oh, hold on. My fault. Let me there. take this a little bit more Juicy serious. Secrets about outer space? Let me take this a bit more serious. <laughs> <laughs> Now's not the time, Becky. You a conspiracy fan? I didn't even hear what she was saying. Ah, I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's <laughs> office. He has quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? I've got it all figured out. It's the comedy Secret aspect. It's the comedy There's aspect. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there. Not the night lady out over again. We can catch the son of a gun. We exactly. did kind of just throw her to the oh wolves. Oh my god, Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. Not <laughs> gossip? Don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, oh. Forrest? Use your selfish bait. Is there a TV in there? Use a radio. Are we talking about the archive room still? Or are we talking about another room now? <laughs> Is there a TV in there? Hmm. Listening, where are we at? 
we're in he went back to the office right where the people got killed oh okay it could be a tv in there but i don't know why you would want to turn that on a radio maybe we could use no radio. don't use a radio there's no radio in the secret archives okay are there no radios at your offices I don't have one in my office, but... No, don't use a radio. Don't think about what it. What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Yeah, and then... That's exactly what I thought. It didn't click in my head until I clicked the button. Everything clicked in my head. I'm like, at least we will. Uh. Yeah. All right. Well, since we already know our death, I mean, I already, I think, take your time, Kenny. <laughs> it's too late now. Well, since we know our death. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Because if he does, we're really dead. Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. Jesus, Dash. I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. It's a good Don't question. Be a Ponty Forest. Oh, both of you are on me now? I, it's it's idiots, a really good question now at this point. I'm being really serious. This portable radio should still be here. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I'm gonna wreck him more body than the killer. <laughs> We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Lady, you already missed. We forgot a whole body already. Don't get excited yet. Yeah. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Don't get excited Let's just see yet. see how it goes first. What do you she mean? Must have, Peggy must have forgot that yet. I'm the one we behind the controls. The radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. All right. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. I'm, I'm here. here. Hello. Is everything okay? How you doing, I Maurice? found the radio. It's right where I thought it would. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's... Oh, we're issue. dead! Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. There you were. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. This is all coming together. Wait. I just see my death. Oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. Yeah. You just... Oh, that's a good point. Well, that's the same thing with the TV as well. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. But that's not the uh, point. If you can do that, then... That's not the yeah, point, lady. Sure. You're forgetting that he's gonna listen into the story. 16. They're forgetting the main no part. For a fact, I like to double check. Best lower than I am. Self-advertisement, Nash. I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? You killed him, Kenny. <laughs> Don't put all this on me. You guys can't be doing this. You guys can't be. <laughs> oh, God. We're in the archives right now. Let's send him back to the boardroom, I guess. Where we at right now? Where we at right now, y'all? Because I, I got to remember now. After all that happened, my brain kind of broke. We sent him to the kitchen. Okay, he's in the kitchen right now. We don't want to call to the kitchen. If we call to the kitchen, he's fucked. He's fucked. So let's send him back to the boardroom, I guess. Send him back to the boardroom. 
He's in the office with the radio. Oh, he's in the office with the radio. Oh, he's in the office now? Oh, right, because he went to go grab it. Okay. Okay. If he's in the office now to grab the radio, I'm glad you updated me on that. You're right. Okay. So, we could call to the boardroom, but where is he trying to make it to? He has to make it down the stairs, which is still blocked. So, if he goes to the kitchen, he's going to block that area off. So we should probably send him to back to the boardroom. The archives is too deep and it's still right there next to the stairs. Huh. So the boardroom is the best. Yeah. Trying to go to the stairs. Yeah. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. But we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Oh, wait. Is that where we're at? Is that where we're at? Is that where he's at, I mean? I mean, he hasn't. He won't go there. Why would he go there? It's not being called. We're calling the boardroom. This makes it a lot difficult then. Did we move him to another room first instead of just trying to move him all the way down there? But we can't just keep calling phone and trying to lure him. All right. Yeah, make the call. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. Oh, I'm about to pop these fruit snacks. Oh, I'm popping these fruit snacks for good luck. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. So he's in the editor's room. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. That is good. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Hide under the desk. Hide in your cabinet. So he's going to the secret archives. Don't send him there. I think the cubicles is the best spot for real. Why would he check the cubicles? I mean, you can't hide under your desk. He's going to look under there quickly. Your cabinet. You're not fitting inside your cabinet. Mr. Russell sounds like a happy guy. I'm going to be honest, y'all. He's not fitting inside the cabinets. I think it's the cubicles. Plus, it moves him closer to the stairs, too. He's 55. He's definitely an older gentleman. He has a dad body. He's not inside the cabinets. Hide among the cubicles. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Remember, you're trying to lock him in. Oh. Listen to your old pal, Russell Forrest, and shut up. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> Forrest, Dash! Great! <laughs> oh,
Why won't they give me a time limit? Why would they give me a time limit? <laughs> Body count is too... <sighs> Maybe he lives. Maybe he lives somehow. Damn it, you killed the radio. At this point, I am the damn killer. Hold up, y'all. God damn it. There goes my shirt. Choked on my <laughs> Bro, that's not fair. Let's be for real. That man is not fitting inside that damn cabinet. What did she say? Out of print? Out of print. <sighs> Let's put on a song. <laughs> Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks. We'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. It's funky, it's groovy, it's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Of course, that song. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're going to interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. <laughs> not you clipping Besides, it. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. Go watch. It's not fair. And you're still all shrouded in mystery. I'll regret this. Uh, I'll regret this, but okay. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? <laughs> Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? That is rough. It was the no, second that's too attempt. Too specific. Too specific? I. Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom Can and pop still around? I thought I was asking Hitler zero. You were. I'm just making conversation. That's rough. Oh. That is rough. Well, my folks went <laughs> the same way as yours. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. I don't know how to feel about that. Then he got himself into a wreck. And Hold up. That was dad.
<laughs> what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Mom didn't take it well. I like she how my mic literally always cuts out if I scream too loud. She wanted to forget dad so bad. <laughs>